Hey guys, good morning. It's eight o'clock and I just got rudely awakened by a dozen police cars, likely a civil disturbance unit, making their way down to Georgetown because it appears there's a big protest in Georgetown. So I'm gonna take you down there and then I'm gonna get breakfast. They've painted something on the street in front of this house. And they've got arrest wagons. Secret Service is here, along with DC police. That's the, I believe that's the ICE director's house here in Georgia. just set up a police line. I'm really not hungry today. I just just needed to eat something, so we'll go here. Life in the big city. All right, guys, so we're having breakfast at Rockland's. It's actually like one o'clock in the afternoon, but you know, I've been busy all morning. Um, the weather is getting rough. The tiny ship is lost. We might go for a bike ride down on the mall, but we're probably gonna get wet. <laughs> the rain is coming. The heat is already here. Uh, anyway, let's see what's going on in Washington. Lunch has arrived. Hey guys, greetings from the National Mall. I'm uh, out for a bit of a walk slash bike ride, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I think that big old storm that's right over there is gonna dump heavy rain on DC in about 20 to 30 minutes, according to the weather alert uh, apps. I've got about 20 minutes before possible hail. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go find if we can get in a museum or something. So with the rain coming, our choices are over there, the American History Museum, and over here, the African American History Museum, which is a newest museum, and actually a pretty cool building. I think we're gonna check this one out, if we can get in. So we're kind of in luck in the sense that it's the end of the day and nobody, I mean, nobody is in line. <laughs> Earlier in the day, well, there's a pretty humongous line to go in. I don't know if we need a ticket or not. Let's just see. It used to be time tickets only. Hi. Right. No, I don't. I just was walking by. We're, we're sold out for today. We oh, okay. 8 in the morning on the website. But I have one extra ticket. Oh. You gotta go on the website on the future 8 in the morning. Sorry, sir. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. For the future, you gotta go on the website 8 in the morning. No worries. I got you. I'm just trying to get out of that rain because it's, oh, okay. it's gonna be ugly, they said. Yep, <laughs> Thank you. Ah. All right. So, 
I don't have a ticket, but they let me in. <laughs> cool. Okay. Internet. Of course, there's a gift shop. Got to be a gift shop. And that's a theater, I think. I have no idea what that is. Art. Sort of dragon hall. Let's just go up. It's cool, though. You can see that pattern that they've got around the windows. This is like passive, uh, passive temperature control, I think, too, because it creates like a shadow on the windows, and thus it, uh, you still get the light from the window, but you don't get the heat. So you save a tremendous amount of money on heating and cooling. And this whole building is surrounded by that lattice work. Pretty. Hey guys, just an editor's note. Um, I have destroyed this video twice because I just am not happy with the quality of camera work today. Uh, the museum I'm going to is very dark and my gimbal was not really working. So it's gonna be jittery, it's gonna be dark. I had to do a lot of stuff. I had to cut out some stuff because the basement area of this place was just really dark. It just didn't come out. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna film this again because this is a really interesting museum. It's just, well, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch it, but just a little warning. It's not gonna be the usual quality. That's a Jackson 5 outfit. And there is Gladys Knight the Pips. And this, by the way, is Chuck Berry's Cadillac. Yeah, my camera messed up a little bit when I walked in here. What is that? I think I've seen it before. It's pretty whacked. Jazz, classical. That looks like Count Basie. Nope. Cab Calloway. Cab Calloway's outfit. Gillespie, Miles Davis's trumpet. Ella, Louis Armstrong, Fats Waller, Max Roach, <laughs> Diane Warwick, and Whitney Houston. Oh God, Soul Train. <laughs> Don Cornelius. Yes, I remember Don Cornelius. That's how old I am. Prince or the artist formerly known as Prince, that's his outfit. Quincy Jones, Stevie Wonders. That's Michael Jackson's from the Victory Tour. Knuckles. Oh, wow. Pioneer of techno. Hip hop. Earth, wind, and fire. What's this? Bootsy. <laughs> Funkmaster Bootsy. The mothership for the P-Funk. Yeah, that's what I thought this was. Parliament Funkadelic. The George Clinton. James Brown. This is weird. Public Enemy. <laughs> It's parachute pants. MC Hammer. <laughs> it's raining pretty hard now, guys. The first African-American to win multiple awards was Russell Williams, a sound engineer. He won those two there. Eddie Murphy. That's from uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2. And from The Color Purple. Rhonda Rhimes. The woman behind Bridgerton. And the Jeffersons. Good Times. Julia, Bill Cosby, Oprah. 
Churchill, the Jackie Robinson of journalism, one of the first black journalists to work at a white southern newspaper. He wrote about the black community. Is he oh, yeah. Wow. This is such what a typical journalist looks like, yeah? <laughs> That's his typewriter. His pencils, his jacket. And this is the uh, Mexican Olympic gold medalist. Interesting story, the Australian guy, who didn't raise his fist but supported these guys, he was one of the pallbearers at the funeral for one of the other guys. Olympic Games, right there. Magic Johnson, Team USA. Tennessee State. Oh, that's a, what's his name? Dent went there. He played for Chicago Bears. Seba Johnson's ice skates. Jackie Joyner Kersey's running shoes. So those are Jackie Joyner Kersey's. Shoes. You know what? I gotta get another camera out. These are the gold medals of Carl Lewis, with one exception. His first gold medal from the 100 meter dash at the 1984 Olympics. When his father died, Carl Lewis put that gold medal in the casket and it was buried with his father. But those are the other gold medals Carl Lewis won. Hey, <laughs> the Harlem Globetrotters. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a Harlem Globetrotter. I didn't quite understand. Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis's gloves. Jackie Robinson's jersey. And his bat. Letha Gibson's tennis racket. She won Wimbledon, right? No, the French Open. Muhammad Ali. Oh, wow, this is the torch he used to light the torch in Atlanta. Arthur Ashe, that's his trophies. U.S. Open Plate and Wimbledon. Jim Brown. And a movie star. <laughs> Eddie Robinson, coach of uh, Grambling State University. Title nine, what? Miranda Scurry's jersey, Michael Jordan's jersey, and a box of Wheaties. Tiger Woods's kit, it's Muhammad Ali's gear. Let's cut through here, football. Notre Dame. It's amazing to realize that over his 57 year single Terry's jersey of Grambling put 200 athletes into the National Football League. The true great white hope position in America is now quiet. And now maybe. Doug Williams, Grambling State Jersey. Doug Williams went on to lead the Redskins to the Super Bowl. Hank Aaron's Jersey. Kurt Flood. Lakers. Kobe Bryant's Jersey. Kobe, you want to take a picture? That's Kobe's jersey. 
most African Americans have wanted equality, acceptance, and a sense of belonging. Texas Western, the first team with five African-American starters to win the NCAA National Championship. And that's their warm-up jersey, Texas Western. That was in 1966. Who dreams is sort of quintessential urban the first African-American high school to win a state basketball championship was the 1952 Lachlan Wayne High School in Ohio. Earl Lloyd's jersey, the first African-American NBA player. Some cool stuff. Tuskegee Airmen. And the first ones killed was James McCollin. Colin Powell's uniform. World War II. These are all the Medal of Honor winners, African American Medal of Honor recipients. Chapman's Farm, Virginia. This is a Civil War. USS Hartford, Mobile Bay, Chapin's Farm. Vietnam War. This is in Way, Way City. This was in Iraq. He rescued seven men from a burning vehicle, even though he was severely wounded himself. Well, that's about the history of the building itself. So this is about African-American history, not different groups, but as a whole. We've got a train car here. Wow, this goes down like three levels, guys. I thought it was just like the cafeteria down here, but no. There's a lot of stuff down here. Let's go down. So it starts with a slippery. The slave trade. Came into being based on the labor and forced movement of enslaved Africans. Atlantic World Slavery, also considered New World Slave Trade. These are coins from Guinea. Royal African Company. Oh God. So that's what a slave ship looked like. All the countries that took part in the slave trade, Denmark, Portugal, moved 5.8 million slaves. Great Britain moved 3.3 million, France 1.4, and the Dutch 500,000. And different shipping. British and colonial armies, though initially reluctant, saw the advantage of recruiting able bodied enslaved Africans to support their cause. Africans aligned with whichever side offered the better promise of freedom. This was the flag of black patriots. The British acted first. 
Bucks of America badge. Lord Dunmore of Virginia the Bucks of America was a colored company that fought for the new nation. This was their flag. In the states where it exists. But African Americans were resolved to end slavery once and for all. Frederick Douglass wrote in 1861, let the slaves and free colored people be called in the service and formed into a liberating army. Marching to the US colored South infantry at Fort Lincoln, Washington, D.C. In fact, African Americans are born. These are all the racially restrictive laws that existed around the world, or around the country. Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Louisville, Indiana, Illinois, Georgia. This is a first class segregated train. It has separate sections for whites and blacks. This is the whites only section. The museum shop will be closing in 30 minutes. Daddy, why are all the colored people sitting in the other part of the train? Well, darling, they're not allowed to sit where we sit. But why? This is the colored section. This is a first class train. The Poor People's Campaign was the March on Washington. Memorial Mass for Martin Luther King. The Nation of Islam. The Black Panther Party. Hmm. Of course, I have to have a guess who's coming to dinner. probably can't tell but it is actually still raining <laughs> the sun is out but I'm getting wet uh, the storm had just blown through here it rained for quite a bit and I'm gonna make my way back over to the other side of the mall it's like a rainbow sky and you can see it better from the zoom out okay guys so that's the day it uh, stopped raining tomorrow Donald Trump returns to Washington, D.C. I will be there. I will show you what I can sew. I don't know if I'm going to see him. I'm going to try my best, and hopefully we'll get a, a good, clear view of him as he goes into the hotel to give his speech. I'm sure we'll see a lot of protesters. We'll be out 
in the streets and we'll show you what's going on. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.